Hello, how are we? Yes, today we're taking a look at Peterson's of Dublin University Lake. Smoking kills, quit now. Yes, this is a flake. Put this part down as well. Um, perhaps they smoke it in universities. I do not know. It is a Weber Junior. Um, barely. And it looks like this 50 gram tin. Boop. Let's take a look at that. Let's get it in the sunlight a bit. There we go. There goes the lead. Uh, as you can see, lighter bits, darker bits. Oh, all I'd say is medium brown overall. It's as dark as it gets. And then let's take a look at this curtain a bit. There we go. Uh, as for the flake construction, it's uh, how thick it is. That's thin flake. Extremely uniform, extremely well packaged in return. And uh, a good old uh, moisture out of the turn as well. Wonderful. Just got three flakes there left. Of course, I just shoved one in my pipe and started to smoke it. Yes, we'll be late. So, where, uh, oh yeah, what's it smell like? Let's smell it. Smells of Virginia. And Bailey. So, make of that what you will. A bit of grassy uh, Virginia. And a bit of that uh, Bailey Bailey smell. Which to me just smells of Bailey and not of anything. E.g. nuts, as the one people say. To me it smells like barely. So there you go. Right, I'll put the lid on that. And uh, we'll turn around and uh, start puffing on it. See in a minute. Okay, we're back. Yes. Uh, right, I am smoking this flake, which I did rub out into my palm. and pop it in the pipe. Uh, we're smoking it today in in a pipe. Yes, a pipe. This pipe here. There you go. A pipe. Right. It's a B nature one. Not focus. Anyway. Anyway, it's a pipe. Right, according to tobacco reviews, light. Um, sorry. Um, blah, 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 blah. Blend is a mix of mahogany brown and orange Virginia, some cured leaf from India, slowly pressed into dark or days into cakes, and sliced into delicate flakes. Yes, Isn't that wonderful. And there's a note where it says a light berry top dressing applied by this evident in the smoke. Uh, K&H website describes it as BLOM! Yeah. Well, until looking at this website uh, two minutes ago, I would have never known and I nearly smoked an old pin, but it's got plum in it. Not for me. <laughs> Didn't know. <laughs> right. Mmm. So, 50-50. I don't know if it's 50-50, sorry. Uh, Bailey in Virginia, but whatever mix it is. Uh, seems to smoke well in uh, in a pipe. No trouble after rubbing it out. I've even folded and stuffed. Plus the thin flakes and that way it's well as well. No trouble smoking it. Mm. So what does it taste like? I'd say a mixture of 30% of taste. This is percent of Virginia. Topped up to the seventy percent of uh, barely. That's my opinion. Yeah, a bit of grassy Virginia in there, and a bit of um, barely barely. Hmm. Smooth down the nose. Tastes all right. Good. Ah. Uh, 
I've smoked it in quite a few pipes. Well, five or so. And it smokes best in this pipe for some reason. In the others, it's been very, very bland. You get the taste of your Virginias and Baileys, but uh, on the bland side. But this pipe seems to knock it up 10%. To uh, just above bland. Yeah. Flavours are there, but they need uh, a warmthing up. A good uh, fair few percent. To make me want to bother with this again. I think it's one of them. Where it should come with a stipulation of if you buy this, you need to shove it in a dark cupboard for two years to mature a bit. But I buy my tobacco to smoke immediately, just as I um, buy a bunch of bananas to eat, you know, within uh, four or five days, and not next year. Yeah, so. Oh. I uh, could definitely do with uh, a bump up in flavour. Of the flavours that are there. Needs a point. Doing up a bit. Extra aging could do. Hmm. Yes. It's all rather good. But could be better. Much, much better. Uh, we've got a doozy from Jim Inks. I've noticed on the tobacco website. Yeah, fucking plump, I want to know not. And the maniac known as Jim Inks says Virginia's an earthy woody white grass, floralness and bread, mildly tart, tangy citrus, sugary stewed fruit. Tastes like a bit of grassy Virginia to me. Oh, and an ever-present hint, ever-present hint of spice. And the bailies are earthy, nutty, with a little molasses, slightly toasty, woody. Mm. Well, this can be prominent. So, do you think I agree with that? Uh, toppings of a light plum essence. Well, I taste fruity berries more often. Well, there you go. I tasted uh, zero berries all from. Didn't even know it was meant to be in there. <laughs> Holy snares. Right, what's the score for Peterson's University Flake? Yeah, it just needs more oomph. Presentation and all that. Fine, fine and dandy. Of the flake. Works well and all that. 2.562, 2 2.562 from Harold. Whack a, a full point on that if you can be asked aged. Not me. No. Well, that's it. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Bye.